Today's adventure begins at Jungle Gyms here on the east side of Cincinnati off of Eastgate Boulevard. Even got their own monorail. It's not a running monorail, but sure does look cool. Take a lot of inspiration from Disney over the years. They have animatronics in here. This is the wildest, craziest grocery store you will ever see. The main entrance is over there underneath the monorail. The monorail that is not in function. I wish it was, that would be really cool. But here we can enter this part of the store. This place is enormous. They have the cookie store, sushi, the NBL chicken. We may have to check that out. The flying olive, Tika grill, Philly steak and euros. And we got Jungle Jim here driving into another entrance. Learn all about what's happening here at the jungle on Facebook. And this is their foodie entrance. So I think we're gonna go in this way. Good morning, everyone. Yes, we are here at Jungle Gyms on the east side of Cincinnati. Never been to this one before. I've been to the one up in Fairfield. This is a really awesome place. Uh, very uh, theatrical. Have a lot of different animatronics in here. We're gonna check it all out. They have a big farmer's market and an international market. Now this is the more newer Jungle Gyms. This is one of two of the craziest supermarkets in the country. We're gonna check it all out. Should be a lot of fun. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Jungle Gyms here in the foodie section, they have things that they believe you're gonna want for the Super Bowl party. Looks like pistachios is top of the list here. If we look to our right here of where the pistachios are, we come up on Abbey Girl Sweets. Abbey Girl Sweets. Different espresso. Maybe they got some coffee in there. I could really use one. Look at some of their menu here. They have all different kinds of options and I do see fresh brewed coffee. They can we get a large. It's only 40 cents higher than the small. Okay, so this is very hot, so. Ooh, strong. Fresh brewed, as they say. I see a lot of interesting things down the way, so we're gonna check out some of these different uh, animatronics they have. It's the craziest, you know, I'm sure, like Fairfield, the one up north from us, which is a little closer, they do have all regular groceries and stuff. You do have to pay attention to some of the different sales and deals. The deals they call price magic here at Jungle Gym. So you wanna pay attention to those if you are a local shopper. However, we're gonna look at a lot of the things that if you are not a local shopper, like a lot of the international options they have here, different cheeses, fun things, different desserts. This place is awesome. Over here, we got some of these cast iron skillets here by Chef Select. $9.99, this was the price magic thing that I was telling you about right here. That's what you wanna pay attention to. Uh, and you really can find some good deals on this. Also right above me, they have fresh sushi. Yeah, over here we got like a hanging, what would be a hot air balloon thing there. It's pretty cool. Got a hanging piece of pizza that we can't really see. One thing I like about this Jungle Gyms though is a lot of stuff is broken down into different like little shops. Unlike the other Jungle Gyms where it's kind of all open. I'm not really sure which one I like better. We will talk about that toward the end of the video. But I mean, there is just so much cool stuff here at this one as well. We've got a, a hanging Winnebago up there. Interesting. Well, this is kind of fun. They have these different ice cube trays, like an ice cube tray of the United States here, or one just of Ohio, red, white, and blue. I'd get all three of them, $2.99 each. I feel like that would be a good, fun investment. These are $2.99 as well. Actually, yeah, normally I guess they would be $4.99, but with the price magic, save $2. Uh, I've come across the cookie store here. I do like how these are kind of broken down. They must deal with like maybe separate vendors here. Um, got some different cookies here, some of the different offerings. That looks good, chocolate chip right there. Look at this, Reese's Pieces, and we got Jack Skellington. I don't know if they're still doing these. It's past Christmas, but it looks like they do all kinds of theming. They got Mario here, Batman. Easter cookies, Spider-Man, little unicorn there, it's fun. 
Look at this guy. He can lift 4,000 pounds. 2,000 on this side, 2,000 on this side. And he is protecting whatever drink this is right here. BLK, more than water. Hmm. These are $2.49 a piece. I'm not gonna lie, I have some Toys R Us vibes going on here. Got toys with the giraffes, all kinds of Funko Pops, everything. We will leave the link in the description box below if you would like to check out our other visit to Jungle Gems in Fairfield, Ohio, which is the original. Arguably much bigger, but I do like the way this one's set up. So this is something pretty interesting with Jungle Gems. You see a portalette, that is the bathroom. You open up that door and it takes you into a deep bathroom. Not gonna film in there, but it is pretty cool how they have this place set up. It's real fun. Well, this is something really cool. They have a theater starring the Jungle Gym story. Got some seats in there. We're gonna go in there and check that out. Starring Jungle Jim himself in the Forbidden Land. The Jungle Gym story. This is pretty neat. This is pretty nice. Me and my wife went down to the zoning board appeals and told them we want to put a food market there. The lawyer stood up for the city and said, you can't do that. It's not zoned properly. I said, wait a minute. Next door, there's an art to treachers. That's commercial. The lawyer said, that's this is too cool. Because people working in the area can go there and eat lunch. That's how he acquired said, Jungle Gems Market. the difference between having an apple or an orange or going to Arthur Treacher's for lunch. She banged the gavel on the table and said, good luck, son. And I was off and running. Now I actually had to buy the property. So I met with the owners. One of them was Fanny Cunningham. I had $10,000, but I didn't have any credit. She said, can your parents go sign? I said, no, I don't want my parents to go sign. They work too hard for their money. I don't want to take the chance. And we just sat there and waited. And Fanny stood up and said, I'll co-sign for you. Good luck. I said, you won't regret it. I'll never be late on my payment. And I was off to the races. That was really neat. I stayed and watched the rest of the show. It's amazing what he had gone through to do what he wanted to do here. He wanted to make it entertaining for everyone to shop at, and he has done this. This is definitely the most entertaining grocery store you will ever visit. As we go right of the theater here, we come into their big, huge grocery store. Like, this is where you're going to find all of the different groceries that I'm sure mostly local shop for when they come to Jungle Gyms. But if you're coming from out of town, you'll want to look at just about everything because they have stuff mixed in from all around the world. Plus they have an, their own like international market that's like set aside of different products that are specific from those countries. Wanted to give another look of the trailer here. I said Winnebago before, it kind of looked like that from the front. Who's that guy? Oh, Mr. John Lennon. That's pretty cool. One thing about Jungle Gems as well is you'll find products here that you don't find anywhere else. Again, they seek things out uh, from all around the country, like products that may cost more here. They probably pay extra to get some of these products in, like a lot of these different Bob's Red Mill, pie crust, cornbread, chocolate chip cookie mix, granola products. It's rare you see these anywhere else. You'll see them at some places, but Jungle Gems does a good job of getting the things that you normally don't see at other places. Like, look at this. Got the different little oatmeal cups. $2.19 a piece. Pretty expensive, but they probably pay a hefty price for it, too. Well, I have found the international market part of this Jungle Gems. And this would be the Asian section right here. Where you can find a lot of different products from Asia. And it is enormous, guys. I mean, it's... I'm going to say it's not as big as the one up north. But, uh, yeah. They have a ton of different things here. Including... Tons and tons and tons of rice. So if you're looking for different rice options, this is the place to come. We have reached the Africa part of the international market here where you can find all different items from Africa. Everything. I mean, it's pretty cool. Go back in here, all these areas right here. Look at this ship. Whoa, isn't that cool? You can even see where the cannonball has struck it. I was pointing over here when I was talking about the different Africa products, but 
They're actually over here. Those were a bunch of different candies made in America. I saw the Sanders uh, pretzel, pretzel bites. I was like, wait a minute, does that come from Africa? Look at this, got Tortuga here. Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee Rum Cake. $4.99 for that. We've got some Cajun options over here. Some gumbo, oh boy. I love me some gumbo. Got the okra gumbo, crawfish pie. Boy, if you're from Louisiana, this place, you fit right at home. Some more of the Africa options here. Some of these are familiar looking, like a lot of these, I guess, that they sell in Africa, like this Grace brand of corned beef. We've got some different jerky sauce. Interesting stuff from South Africa down here. Over here, we have a hot sauce jet, a hot sauce plane that is being carried solely off of the power of different hot sauces. That is uh, interesting. Here they actually have a hot sauce section here. This is interesting. I didn't see this at the other Jungle Gyms. They have a fire truck here in case it gets too hot for you. He can come, uh, you can come with a glass of milk or something because water ain't gonna help. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know where to begin. I do not even know where to begin. I mean, there is so much, so much. They have all this down here and it just goes on and on. They have aisles for fiery foods, for fiery hot sauce, aisles, marinade, wing sauce, mustard, condiments, relish pickles, everything's on fire here. My cousin had gotten me some bacon jam for my birthday. And I'll tell you what, at first, it smells kind of weird. But you take a bite of it, I'll tell you what, this stuff is amazing. It's not this kind right here. But, I don't know, I'd be willing to try it. Uncured bacon jam. Let's see, we got uncured, it's the same thing, just a different. Now let's see, the yellow here, what is this? So black peppercorn, and then we have sweet chili. Sweet chili, so $5.99 for these. Probably definitely worth trying. Directly behind the fire truck here, they have all these little hot snacks, all these fun little challenges and stuff. They've got different seasonings. They got this right here, purebred idiot. Yeah, not me, I'm good. I like hot sauce, but not that hot. Huh. That's pretty funny. Got some barbecue popcorn. Just It just goes on and on, guys. This is crazy. Where can you buy a hot sauce shirt? Maybe online, they have these Chili Life shirts here. $19.99 for that, it might be a little pricey, but look at this, WTF, we all know what that means, right? Where's the fire? Yeah, I like this a little atomic symbol with the chili in there, the chili pepper. WTF, where's the fire? Ooh, and if you wanna burn your face off, here's some Carolina Reaper mash. Carolina Reaper, I've had a lot of viewers on the channel talk about Carolina Reaper and how you weren't able to sleep right after eating this is $8.09. I don't know, guys. Not me. Here we have the Jungle Gems Pizza Perfect hashtag Jungle Pizza Jungle Gems Market on Instagram, which I highly recommend checking out if you've never checked out any of their social media because it is pretty funny. They have a lot of jokes and things, but look at this. This is all the pizza supplies you will ever need to create that perfect pizza. And it just goes on and on. They even got more chilies over here, my goodness. All kinds of interesting drinks here. Some of these you can find at some places. We got the Frosty here. That's that's pretty, uh, 99 cents for that too. I see those for like $1.59, $1.69 some places. Look at this. Here we got some other fancy drinks here. I don't know what I really think about this one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Me and Jessica have tried a couple of these different ones over the years. And yeah, I will say if it has a funny name, it usually has a funny taste as well. Jack Black's Blood Red Cola. Ever tried that one? Check this out. We got Tony the Tiger up here. We got the Sun from Raisin Bran of Kellogg's. All Kellogg's inspired. And over here, we just got, we just got Pinocchio and Geppetto. Painting the picture for you. Painting the picture of all this. Really cool, guys. I'll tell you what, it's worth coming to Jungle Gems just to check out all this stuff. I wonder if this moves sometimes. Usually, some of these animatronics will like move back and forth. 
but they'll be like on a timer so you just gotta kind of wait around for a minute see what happens right here looks like oh in memory of john Massick, this wooden horse display hand carved by john himself our friend and co-worker you will be missed so this must have been something he made maybe for the kids one of them things where you push yeah push the thing push the button there and then you can kids can ride on it uh, that's that's pretty cool that they honor his memory here hello to tony ernie geppetto and all my friends at jungle gyms hello mr son we've already been baking for hours in our magic ovens <laughs> You'll have to wait, Tony, because our cookies have to be just right before we take them out of the oven. Everyone likes cookies that are warm and delicious. Warm and delicious? Sounds like my two scoops of raisins. My favorite is cereal. Me too. I love to sprinkle raisins into cereal to make it healthy. I like my frosties because they look great. Looks like we have Donald Duck protecting all of the quackers, right? Quackers, get it? I am just full of lame jokes today. So quick thing here, I just put that clip in. I wanted you to see a little girl went up and pushed the button. That button for the horse, I guess, was to operate uh, uh, the tiger uh, from Frosted Flakes, Tony the Tiger, the keyboard elf, and all of that. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Looks like right here we've got the honeybees protecting all that honey over there, which we'll show here in a second. I just wanted to show these fun little beekeepers, but they have a little video going on here on how the bees and how this all works, right? Here we got a ton of different jams. I mean, jam on, guys. Look at this. This is the Trappist. Trappist jams, all different kinds. We got boysenberry, red currant jelly, sweet orange marmalade. I mean, it just goes on and on. And then they have some of the Stonewall, Stonewall brand as well. Uh, here's some of the Stonewall hot pepper peach jam. I actually gotten some comments on that one in the past. Up here we have IHOP, the international hut of preserves. Different preserves. Blueberry, strawberry. <laughs> I like how they do play on words here. Look at this cherry chai here. Lemon saffron. Different kinds of different options, guys. I mean, this this place, it's, it's fun to just come and just try something randomly. Something that you think you'll like. Really cool. I like all the information that they give you here on everything. Maple trees only produce an average of 10 gallons of sap each year would you have thought that i would have thought a lot more and down here we have all of the different brands um you know they also do a lot of work with local workers as well local producers so keep that in mind when you're shopping here over here it says it takes 40 to 50 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup one gallon yeah that's why it costs so much here under the great bee animatronic. They have a bunch of different honeys. They got some from Savannah Company here. It's funny too, because these look a little cheaper than when we were seeing these down in Tennessee, which is kind of funny, because usually, oh, well, this is on a deal. Okay, I was gonna say, 10.49 right now, and those were like 16, $17 down in Tennessee. So they're normally that price, they're just on sale. But all different kinds of different honeys here. Big or small. Now this is interesting. They have different raw honeys from Ohio, Kentucky. I know they tell you if you know to help with allergies, you want to get raw honey from your state. Indiana right here, some from Michigan. They have little smaller bottles if you're just wanting to try it. Um, looks like that covers Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana, which are four states, three other states that are relatively close to us, so don't know if they would go out much further than that unless you get into some of the other sections here at Jungle Gems, which I really don't know. Like I said, this is my first trip here, uh, and this store is starting to become enormous. It goes back a lot further than I thought it did. 
all kinds of different candies and fancy little chocolates and stuff, which we are gonna partake in some of this. Look at this. Happy birthday. I assume this is their different bakery right here, which I am very interested in. Jungle Gems Bakery. It's not the cheapest, but they make all of this stuff in-house and it is delicious. Might have to get a uh, cannoli. Wanted to show the cannolis here. Got a couple of these. Cannolis, one of my mom's favorite snacks, so I will be picking her up one. I will say they have the chocolate cannolis here, but I just like going with the regular powdered sugar. I don't know, I just think it tastes a little better. It's also an extra dollar for one of the chocolate ones, which I don't know, I don't know. Going with the powdered sugar today. Look at this, they even sell Roadrunner jerky. I'm just kidding. Just beef jerky. You can never catch a Roadrunner. Just ask Wiley. Okay, so up here we actually have a Jelly Belly car. Jelly Belly beans everywhere. Guys, this place is crazy. Got big jelly beans up here just hanging from the top. Got different candies, all kinds of prices uh, for, you know, some of it's cheap, some of it's not. Got Candy Castle over here. The big candy castle, we got the M&M's dancing, ready for you to take them away. All kinds of stuff, guys. This is unreal. We've got go-karts with Spider-Man, Wolverine, the Incredible Hulk, and the most Pez dispensers you've ever seen in your life. I literally feel like I have just walked into Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, Candyland, both at the same time. I mean, this is crazy. Here's that car up here, the Jelly Belly car, right? With Jelly Belly wheels. Jelly Belly fun everywhere here. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Jelly Belly? I noticed that you have quite an array of jelly beans here, providing for happy children everywhere. Look at this. I even got Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Well guys, mission accomplished. We have found the big cheese. I was curious if this Jungle Gems had this as well. It appears they do. It's like 750 pounds of cheese that they sit there. It sits there and then uh, once it's ready, they take it down and cut it up and sell it to you. Look at this guy. He's ready for Mardi Gras, ain't he? Say cheese. So luckily I have reached the height requirement to be considered a big cheese. So, yeah, let's get some cheese. Wanted to give you a view of Candy Castle from right behind the big cheese here, right in front of the big cheese. Well, I'll tell you what, I bet kids love this area. You have kind of a guilty look about you there, buddy. A bit of a guilty look, don't you guys? You been taking, you been taking bites out of that? Better not. Around the back or maybe the front not really too sure which side we were on there but on this side they actually give like a little video here on how this cheese is done and how it's made pretty cool oh yeah and here's some of the cheese right here yeah so if you would like to try a piece of the big cheese this is provolone provolone right here it seems like a pretty okay fair price for what you get here and it smells really good i gotta say like i like the smell of stinky cheese you know it's good not gonna really be able to go over all of it today guys there's just so much and i will say they have just as much or possibly more than the store up north world of cheese jungle gems world of cheese it is just everywhere from all international guys. It is from all over the world. As we get in closer to the world of cheese here, here's some of the international Mexico, Mexican cheeses, Spain cheeses, Germany, Brie and Cambert, Switzerland, Swiss cheese, Belgium and Holland, some Gouda over there, and some Mediterranean cheese, all waiting for you. I have to admit, it's hard for me to just walk past the brie cheeses. If you've been on the channel for a while, you know I love my brie cheese. 
never tried this one. I know somebody commented on this on the channel and said it's fantastic. Um, let's see, I think that one's $13.99. Oh, uh, no, wait. Is that $6.99? Yeah, $6.99 for that. Huh, you know what? I'm going to try it. If you are looking for any kind of wine, they do sell liquor here as well. They do have a liquor license to sell liquor. I uh, believe this is, this is actually another bar. This is another bar. And we're not going to go back there, but they have uh, different booze for days, guys. It is just as big or bigger than the one in Fairfield. I'm actually shocked. This place just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So I was wondering where this place is. This is the Tika Grill where they sell the gyros and different fries and stuff like that. I'm not going to get that today, but it is right here with all the different seating everywhere else next to the bar here. And up here, we got some different NASCARs just hanging around. And if you're looking for the cold beer, it's in here. They have a huge area back in there with nothing but cold beer. Got the PBR hood there, got the Corona hood here. We are getting to that point of the store, I believe, where they have to start putting highway signs up so you know where you're going, I guess. Got some craft ice cream down here. However, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to turn around because this... Actually, I don't know. I've been, I'm going to have to ask somebody where the farmer's market is. This place is enormous. So apparently I was heading the right direction all along. I just had to keep going. I literally walked about 30 feet and it was straight back here. We have just... I will say it doesn't look as big as Fairfield, but in some ways it does. It looks like they literally have more off-the-truck options. Stuff comes right off the trucks, guys, and I'll tell you what, some of it may be a little pricey, but you're getting as fresh as you can get. I mean, this is as fresh as you can get. Just all kinds of great veggies and fruits and, and things you don't see in a lot of other places. You can get your very own tropical sugar cane, which is $3.49 at the one in Fairfield as well. I did notice that. And here you can get a fortune cookie stick. No, I'm just kidding. Fortune cookies are right here. $6.99 for an enormous bag of fortune cookies. You don't like one fortune? You can just keep going. Look at these tomatoes. These look amazing. They got all different kinds. They got some orange tomatoes. They got green tomatoes. They got some different tomatoes everywhere. Wow. All kinds of stuff. Got some avocados over here. Avocados. These are three for five dollars. So yes, a little pricey. Um, but we got some shallots over here, fresh shallots, $2.99 a pound. And these beefsteak tomatoes over here, $2.99 a pound. Okay, so one thing is for sure, I highly underestimated the size of this Jungle Gems and the farmer's market here. It is enormous. Looks like we got a bunch of organic options over here. I mean, tons and tons and tons. It's amazing, guys. You ever visit Cincinnati? It doesn't really, I, I feel like it doesn't really matter which one you visit, whichever one you're closer to, Fairfield or Eastgate. This one is considered Eastgate on the east side of Cincinnati. Fairfield is more northern Cincinnati. I was looking at the fun broccoli and corn guys over here and this broccoli piece over here and I almost missed hiding in between the carrot and the broccoli. Good old Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man. Looks like we have a little throwback to the Prohibition here. Guys making their own booze in the tubs because it was banned. Alcohol was banned. A lady here making, making some wine, dancing it out. We got a home brew and wine making. So this is interesting. This is all different make your own wine. They've got different bottles here where you can bottle your own beer and stuff. All different kinds of options back here. This is interesting. I have not seen this at the other General Gems, but I may just not have seen that. This place is enormous. So when I first came in here, there was a lady that said, do you, do you want a map? Do you want a map of this place? You know, it's easy to get lost around here. And I didn't uh, want a map because I kind of wanted to just kind of fall into some of this stuff. Uh, and I have fell into getting lost. I, I really don't know where I am. I'm going to have to backtrack here, I guess or keep moving forward. I actually don't know how far back this goes. 
It's very similar to the other Jungle Gyms. If you don't know where you are, it's very easy to get lost. So I would definitely recommend getting one of those maps. So to give you an idea here, here we have a Jungle Gyms beer guy expert picks. So I'm not really sure, like I guess this is ones that they choose that this, these are their picks, but look at this. This is all like craft beers. They have aisles and aisles and aisles of beers. This doesn't even cover all of it. Where we were before, before we entered the farmer's market, which is this entire area in the back, back here, this extends out way past that. Around the corner, we saw the uh, the beer cooler, and the, doesn't even include, here's the bar way down here, so I am kind of catching where I am here. And all the liquor and wine goes back, I don't, I don't know how far. We just don't have time to cover that today, but do think I kind of know where I am. This kind of looks like, uh, Candy Castle right here. So we're gonna go this way. Looks like we got jungle pets up there. That's where they'll have a lot of the pet food. And I'm pretty certain that these three, uh, these three guys will start singing here at some point. Oh yes. Now they're going. Uh-huh. All I had to do was push this button. Kind of like the uh, Tony the Tiger thing. Just walk up, push the button, and they'll start playing. Yeah. Jungle pets. Right here we have a bunch of different toys and stuff. Got some different uh, cat, cat climbers as I call them. Cat houses. We got a bunch of different food over here and this goes for aisles and aisles and aisles of multiple different kinds of pet foods. Got some bird houses over here. Got a hummingbird feeder, that's interesting. No shortages of pet food here at all. Every spot filled. Now you may pay a little more, but Jungle Gyms pays a little more as well. You know, that's why we see this at Publix a lot. Publix pays, you know, pretty pretty high prices on a lot of this kind of thing. That's why they always have it. Um, you know, that's just to be said with things. Let's see how much Fancy Feast is here. Yeah, see, $1.25. You get that for 90 cents a can at Kroger, but all of them are in here. Your cat's favorite kind, they will have it. I've, I've never seen any pet food missing here. I know when we had the pet food scare a couple years ago, Jungle Gyms was still magically getting it in. It wasn't magic at all. They were just paying a much higher price. You will pay a little bit higher price here, but if it ever goes away again, at least you know you can get it here. To give you an idea, as I kind of got turned around here, this is where the, the food starts for pets. And it goes on and on and on, all the way back down to the big cheese and where we saw those birds singing. Aisles and aisles and aisles. Crazy. I was really curious where the registers were, and I'm just going to kind of throw it out there. So maybe if you can remember when you come here, you might have a bit of an idea. But make sure you get that map. If you remember, toward the beginning of the video, we were right underneath the big uh, bench press lifter guy. And if you look right above that, we have the registers, which are all throughout here. So we basically did a huge circle, kind of zigzagged back in between the international market, which is back there. It's kind of weird. I kind of expected it to be a little bit similar to the Fairfield one, where it was kind of like drawn out similar, but no, it's not. It is complete opposite, complete different. Here we have the Jungle Gyms Gorilla. As we come out, we have checked out and we have the monorail right above us, celebrating the American steel workers that probably built this. And right outside here, I didn't notice when I was coming in, but they have an old bus stop from Government Square up here from downtown Cincinnati. They have moved it up here. Well, that was our trip to Jungle Gyms East Gate on the east side of Cincinnati today. I had a fun time. I had a fun time. I will say I do like the Fairfield one better. Um, it's bigger. On the outside, I feel like, first of all, there's two things of registers um, to where you can check out depending on what side. Like, they have two different parking lots. I just feel like there's a lot more room at the one in Fairfield. It's more spread out to where I, I did feel a little congested in this Jungle Gyms. However, there are different things. There, I loved watching the little movie. That uh, coffee, that coffee, Abby's Girl uh, coffee was really good. Really enjoyed that. Um, the toys at this one may be better. 
Uh, it may be bigger. There's a lot of the same stuff. I will say the international market does seem a lot bigger at the one in Fairfield, which is northern Cincinnati. And then uh, we didn't get to see like the fish market and stuff like that. I just couldn't cover everything. I can never cover it all when I go to the one in Fairfield either. I will leave the description or I will leave the video in the description box below if you would like to check that out. Also try to leave it in one of these little windows that you can just click on at the end of this video if you want to check out and see what the other jungle gems looks like. If I was to say, hey, uh, if you're coming to Cincinnati, I would recommend going to the Fairfield one. I feel like, yes, it may be a little bigger, but ultimately it's more open, easy to see. I didn't like it this one, how you have to kind of walk in between and everything to, to see all the different countries of foods and stuff. As to where at the one in Fairfield, you can see all the different signs above, like uh, Africa, Germany, the United Kingdom, just uh, you can see all that and go right to it. You don't have to kind of search for it. I like that. I also like how everything seems to be kind of in better order at the one in Fairfield. I feel like there's so many things that are just kind of spread out in different areas at this one. It made it really hard to get to. But if this was the one I was used to, then it would probably be, the other one would probably be kind of difficult as well. But I don't know. This one had a lot of good reasons to visit. Uh, this store and the one in Fairfield, both, I, I do feel like like they're both different in their own way, but have a lot of the same products. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I really enjoyed doing this video for you guys. Love Jungle Gems. Very long drive for me, though. It took me an hour and 10 minutes to get home, so traffic was pretty bad. But anyway, had fun doing the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out.